Yo, hey, how are you doing? Um, so today I'm gonna be reacting to Jetro Tool, <clears throat> and this is Locomotive Locom Locomotive Breath, <laughs> rock pop and concert in 1982. Jeez. Um, I think that with the thumbnail that I saw, I have recognized the band. And like, I mean, I have seen the band somewhere, like in videos, of course. I think that it was like in VH1, like mo most embarrassing metal <laughs> thing, and they are there. I don't know. Maybe they are those, or maybe not. Um, yeah, that's. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I probably am wrong. Probably it's, it, it was not part of that. Um, um, so yeah, Jet Tool. Too tall. I don't know. Loco locomotive breath. Yes, my rock anyway. Let's do this. Let's go to the reaction. Le let's see. I wanted to do a reaction with this band. Like I don't, I don't remember. Let's see if they can 
back to the first or they do something else. interesting as hell man so okay so obviously we have the introduction introduction is you know they have the keyboard playing with the drum together then we have the guitar making a sick solo there it's super nice then we have the 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 same rhythm over and over which the first time that the singer began to sing and they f and they felt that they were gonna make a change. They come back to the f same rhythm, which he threw me off a little bit. Man, but when he played the flute, I don't know why. Is is it, it, it's not about well. Obviously, he's a really good flute player, right? It's the combination, and then you can hear his articulating with the with the mouth, and that create the. A different vibe of the song and then of course they go to the new section which is sounded to me like the end of 22 Acacia Avenue from Iron Maiden but with more but well, before they go there they do a good transition which I don't it does modulate a little bit but is if it stay in the same key right that's what I think right I need to listen to it again to like make make it give you a, a the correct thing but that's what i think that happened right um but then we go we go to the rhythm and the keyboard do, do they think then the flute come from nowhere and it gave me again the vi this weird vibe of listening to, to the flute combined with kind of like heavy um when i say heavy is the new section of the song which it did m make me it, it sounds like heavy drug, like like when I told you 22 KJ Avenue is because of the bass, the way that it sounds, and but then we had the with a keyboard somewhere, and then the guitar doing like a single melody, but it's part of the riff, and then we had the flute. It's a beautiful combination. It's very weird to. It's very weird to. To explain and again, these are the type of songs that I need to listen to it again to like be able to to digest. So there is a lot of music. There's some song from Rush that I had to like listen again to like it's like drinking vodka. The first the first shots you don't like them, but then or espresso, and then the more you do it, the more you like it. It's with music. The way that it happened with me is that I like them and I'm I'm like, okay, you know what? I would like to listen to it more to get more of the taste and to analyze it better. And that, yeah, that happened with the Sinus Rush, Sinus X or whatever. The Close to the Edge with Rush. And obviously with this one, I'm going to do the same thing with the Pink Floyd. 
the diamond one shine, shine my diamond I shall listen to that like crazy but I it's music that I needed to like analyze and you know and listen to it and say okay you know I'm gonna I'm gonna take a time to listen to it and explore it more but this one probably is gonna be one of those just because of the fact that it's so interesting man there is like it's kind of new for me and this is from 1982 <laughs> Jeez, I, I didn't even you know I was not even in this era man. so that was very interesting that's my reaction um yeah, if you have other suggestions, um, I do appreciate your, your comments and your suggestions and whatever information, things that you always give me. Those are really nice. I read those even when I don't respond them, but I do have a lot of people sending me messages and I read all of them. It's just I need to take a whole day to answer at least like 30 percent. But I do. I look for videos to make and I look for the comment and, you know. If I gave you a heart, it's because probably I saw your, your comment. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Till the next time.